Hi, I'm PJ Eau Claire, Master Trainer with Mary Thieu, and this is Rie Sakamoto. We're here to talk to you today about dancers and the types of things they need to be able to perform in their art. One of the most important things for a dancer is to be able to transfer loads through the entire body and have integrated movement. Think about that. There's nothing in isolation with a dancer. Do you ever see them just kind of lift their leg without everything being involved or being integrated into the movement? Everything is integrated. So we want to work on integrated movement with them. In our fascial movement course, we teach about the concept of integrated movement. And we do that using the band. So we're going to show you a soccer kick, which is a swing pattern. And I'm going to break it down into three parts, where it looks more muscular and then looks more fascial. And I'll explain as I go. We're going to put our left foot in. And then you're going to take the band over your left shoulder to get to your right shoulder. Now you're on a cross diagonal pattern. From there, you're then going to take your back leg, and you're going to bring it through and place it in front. This hand where the band leg is, you're going to grab way down low and pull up on the band, creating a little bit of a, a slack in the top part here. OK, got it? Then you just stabilize your hand on your hip. Now, from here, I'm going to show you how I said I'd break it down into what's called a lifting pattern. This is very muscularly driven. This is a lift. I'm muscularly lifting my leg. OK, that's not really that fascial. I mean, is it affecting the fascia? Yes, but it's not really a fascial movement. Something that's fascial is going to come later. The next thing I would do is if I wanted to swing my leg, I would have to bring it behind to swing. Then it becomes a swing, swing, right? That's not, again, as fascial. It's a little bit more swing-like and pendulum-like, which is a little bit more mobilizing, but it's still not very fascial. What makes something fascial? or more fascial, is when you create a cross-diagonal pattern and you load these slings, these cross-slings of the body. So this sling is our oblique to our inner thigh, anterior oblique sling. And how we foster that in our body is we bring the leg back and we bring this arm up. Now, I'm going to do a soccer kick by integrating the rotation with the kick. Now, as my leg goes back and my arm goes up, what's happening is I'm loading this chain like a bow and arrow, then it can explode forward. So you get a lot more power from your kick. You feel that, Rie? So as you tension up here, recoil. Tension and recoil. Then I can make it very fluid. Working on that balance on that one leg that I'm standing on, at the same time doing a swing kick pattern. That becomes more fascial. Anytime you load one of the slings in the body, and we all have them, we all have these slings, it's just whether or not we use them. We want to do them on both sides. That one I did was just the inner thigh with the oblique here. You'd want to do on the other side to create the same sling on the other, fostering those continuities through the body, right through the fascial system. Unbelievable, great for dancers, great for just about anyone. <laughs>